So Cassidy, can you tell me about when you joined her campus and why was this an interest for you? Um, I her campus was actually the first club that I joined on Hofstra's campus. I discovered it at the club fair when I was a freshman. Um, I was part of another writing community when I was in high school that's really similar to her campus, but I really like that her kids have had the community at Hofstra um, and like a physical chapter. <laughs> so that's why I joined. And obviously, pre-pandemic, there was actual chapter meetings. Yeah. What did a chapter meeting look like from when you joined to now in your senior year? So typically, when I first joined, it was just kind of like the co-presidents giving us updates and like um, like different details from nationals. Now that I have kind of like grown in the club, <laughs> um, we try to run a bonding event, obviously, like now that it's virtual we still try to do that um, but we really try to make the meetings fun versus informational just so that people like it's worth it for people to come and obviously information comes often because you guys are publishing it seems like on typically saturday's articles are due and then they start going up simultaneously over the week very slowly um so can you tell me a little bit how does the editorial calendar work how do uh potential authors who are part of the club find their article and make pictures um, so to get pitches cleared, they email the co-president and I, Maddie, um, and we approve them. We put them on the editorial calendar for like editing. Yeah. Um, different e-board members have different weeks that they edit and we just kind of like cycle through as an e-board. And so when do you see majority of this work in action? So from the time someone pitches to you guys or for the time someone puts their name on the ad calendar, what is the typical length of time that you see from their name going up to them writing and turning it in for editing? Um, it really depends. I usually try to give like a week and a half at like the very least just because it is an extracurricular club. Um, and we really want the writing to be fun, so like we don't want to stress anybody out, so we don't have super tight deadlines. Um, yeah. And can you just tell me about maybe a day in the life of editing? So someone turns in a piece, and what, what are the next steps? How do they receive feedback? How do they see it go live? What is that process? So we really, we try to do an article per day on the website as far as editing goes. Um, we go in individually and edit, and then we, like, obviously fact check, we do any, like, AP style fixes, and then we send the writer's feedback through our email. That can be anything from, like, structure or, um, like, different parts of research that we think they could have used better, but we just communicate with them through our email. And then how has this, like, changed your life? How has being an editor or co-president, how has this changed your life and maybe uh, can have help your career as you move on from Hofstra? Um, it's made me a lot more confident. I'm a PR major, so I was really more interested in the kind of like event planning side of things, but being in charge of the editorial has made me a lot more confident in my writing because writing is such an important part of, you know, any part of communication. So the fact that like I can say that I ran an editorial club as a PR major, which a lot of people can't, um, that is something that's made me a lot more confident on the writing subject. And speaking of confidence, what, what is something you hope someone in the club takes away from her campus? Whether they're a freshman and they're coming back next year, or they're a senior getting ready to go into the real world? Um, I would really hope that everyone just kind of gets a sense of community out of it. Um, it because it is an extracurricular club, I want people to be there because they want to be, not because they feel like they're obligated to be. Um, so I want them to feel like if they have questions about literally anything, even if it's not related to her campus, um, we can all reach out to each other and kind of build each other up through that. And is there a message you would want to share with the her campus community if this video were to get to that? Oh. Um, oh, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> I would probably just want them to know that I miss them <laughs> and that I think, oh, I can't collect my words, um, that we miss them and we are really looking forward to um, being back with them in the fall. Sounds amazing. Thank you for your time and I can't wait to see more Her Campus articles posted. Thank you. <laughs>